You already know that it is not possible for you to download videos from some social media platforms. In fact, all social media platforms, right? Okay, except TikTok, right? But you cannot download on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, right? But there is an application called Seal that is going to enable you to download videos from those platforms. Let's see how it works. All right, so I'm on Twitter right now and I just saw a video. So I'm going to tap on the video and then the next thing I'm going to tap over here. All right, and then I'm going to tap on copy link. Then we are going to go to that platform which is called Seal, right? Okay, so we're going to drop that link right here and then we tap on download. All right, so Seal is going to process that's fetch the file and then download the video right into your mobile phone. Isn't this awesome? Oh, yes, these are nine other awesome applications we're about to review in this video. It's going to make you wonder why you're just learning about these applications right now. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching a video on my channel, you're welcome. Do make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can join this community of people who use their smartphones productively and profitably. And if you are a new viewer or a returning viewer, you know the culture, hit the thumbs up button down below so the algorithm can share this video with more people. And without wasting no further time, let's begin with today's video the apps that we are going to be looking at here, we are going to be sharing in no order of importance and it ranges from different categories. We have the utility tools, we have um, medical fitness or health fitness tools, we have the media, we have the entertainment and so on. And when I was discovering these applications or researching them, I was really blown away at the functionalities or what these apps can do. Now we've talked about SEO. Now the next one we're going to be looking at is what is called Google Fit. And Google Fit is an awesome application that is meant for health tracking. You could use it to keep yourself to achieving your medical fitness goals and the rest of them. And with these applications, it can be used to carry out your heart rate measurement. It can be used to carry out your respiratory um, rate measurement and so much more. So when you scroll all the way down, you're going to see track your respiratory rate. You can see check your um, heart rate. Now, some of the arguments that people make about using these applications or these devices to you know carry out this medical measurement. Although there is a disclaimer though that you do not totally rely on the result that you get from this, even your smart watches or any other wearables, right? You should also still need to go to um checkups before making this video i tried to measure um my heart rate with this and my heart rate with this and the result i got was you know not too far from each other it, and you know that to measure heart rate it follows uh, a principle called photoplethysmograph all right this principle states that the change in the volume of blood is measured by the change in the intensity of light passing through that organ that's the change in the volume of blood in an organ now when you're checking your heart rate with this application see what it's going to tell you it's going to you know tell you to place your finger over the rear facing camera that's this camera all right you can see the light is right on okay so as as you can see i'm about to cover the light and remember the change in the volume of blood passing through an organ okay and then it's measured by the change in the volume of the light okay or the intensity of the light passing through that organ all right so that is why these devices even your your smart watches there's always a green light that comes up underneath that makes it able to be to take your pulse rate or take your heart rate and you know that when you're measuring your pulse rate you're literally discovering checking your heart rhythm you're literally checking if your heart condition is well you're literally checking your blood pressure all right alongside and when there is anything wrong with your heart it already shows that there is something wrong with your entire body system and you need to go to the hospital so isn't it amazing to know that you could also use your smartphone using these applications among several other medical fitness applications to improve or measure or even monitor your health how many of you have ever wanted to turn off your phone 
maybe why you are exporting or rendering a file and then the application stays you need to stay on that application you shouldn't close that application i always experience this whenever i'm rendering or exporting a video on kmaster you know it could take a very long time exporting a one gig or thereabout video and your battery is dying right and you cannot close the light or turn off your smartphone right there is an application called fake standby an awesome application that is used to activate a fake standby mode on your phone while an application is still running on the background without having to close that application now this application is only available on an app store called um f droid and i'm going to leave the link down on the description this is the application so when i tap on this button over here it's going to you know trigger off a fake standby so let's assume that i am taking a uh, a hidden camera right so i want to take a record a camera or i want to record some video right now and i do not want the people that are there to know that i am recording them so you can see i am currently recording a video right now okay so when i swipe down my status bar i'm going to select fake standby and now my phone is on standby but it is still recording actually it is still recording you see that this is really awesome and if i want to go back or open back my phone all i need to do is to swipe all the way up you can see that it's still recording right so for those of you that like making meme videos or you could even trick your friends with this nest application so remember i said i have a category for entertainment so this application can be used to make meme videos with celebrities awesome right so watch what i'm about to do so i'm going to open the application called Descent, okay and then i'm going to of course when you open it you, you need to sign up and the rest of them all right so i'm going to tap on discover and then i'm You're going to tap great, on you know? create all right so You're when i tap great, on you know? create i can use this so let's assume that my i have a friend who likes um elon musk all right so i'm going to select elon musk and then i'm going to write betty happy birthday all right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to tap on create okay and it's going to render now watch what this app is going to do so it's going to create a deep fake meme video that shows elon Musk saying betty happy birthday Eddie, happy birthday Eddie, happy birthday Eddie, happy birthday Eddie, happy birthday Eddie. isn't that awesome So we are about to enter new year and plenty of people are about to make crazy resolutions. So this application is going to keep you on track on keeping up with that habit or actualizing those resolutions or goals. Right now I said don't exit two hour screen time. So for every um say um between two hours or thereabouts, it's going to ensure that I do not exceed screen time and here i also wrote write things that you're thankful for now i've not actually done any of these things that is why you're seeing zero zero and broken record right by the time i start keeping up with this habit as it reminds me because it will always remind you of what you said you want to do at every particular time on every on daily basis right so check out this application using the link down on the description now have you ever wanted to like you bought a book you do not have the e-copy of that book although there are books that have their e-copies but you have a book especially for you if you're a student and um your test books for instance and you do not want to you know read this book this way now with your smartphone using an application a really awesome application called v i i o you could take a shot of that test book or that novel or whatever you want to read and brings it over, scans it over to your smartphone and this application can convert it from test to speech. Now see what it does. So I'm going to tap on this plus sign over here. And okay, so I'm going to tap on take picture of documents, okay? so i'm going to scan this with this um book 
okay so i have this book right here so i'm gonna scan it all right so the picture is taken i'm going to tap on the plus sign and next thing is going to ask me to crop so i'm it's already cropped the way i want it and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to tap up here okay so i'm going to save so it i've already gotten so you can see that um i have the great privilege of traveling the world everything in that book have been scanned it have transferred the text right so if i tap on this place now see what happens i have had the great privilege of traveling this great world of ours for over four decades and teaching people how to live and work successfully isn't this application amazing now the next one is going to be even much better than this one so don't turn off yet all right this next application is also a health or medical fitness application but this time it concerns women so i'm going to bring in my wife to talk about this very useful application according to her in taking care of herself as a woman so this next application is an application that will be very helpful to me as a woman and fni may not be able to understand how important it is the name of this application is called flow flow is a health application that provides menstruation tracking cycle prediction menopause conception early pregnancy and every other thing that has to do with your health as a woman let's jump into flow application so what you just need to do is by the time you impute your login details then here you can see flow is asking you what you want to achieve with the application so you can see my goal to try to track my cycle get pregnant and track pregnancy so currently i'm on tracking my cycle Currently now, the application has already been configured to fit into my menstrual cycle days. Alright, but as a new person, what you need to do is to tap on edit period dates, then tick the date that you had your last period. Tick the date you had your last period. Automatically, Flow is going to tell you when next your period for next month is going to be. You can also log your symptoms. So um when your period is getting close flow is going to ask you what like what do you feel what's happening in your body today you can see you can decide to add your sex drive so many other amazing things that flow application can do for you as a woman something you need to know about android is their customizability all right how they give power to the users to personalize their devices however way they want to use it unlike iphones right but no i'm not trying to compare apple versus android or ios versus android i'm not in that class <laughs> okay so there's this application called one edge that can help you customize or add a little extra feature or customization to your android now if i swipe my android to the left right you're going to see um you're first seeing the rss feed where i get um cnn news and bbc news all right so i swipe again you're going to see my app usage so these are applications how i've been using my smartphone today based on the applications i've opened so you can see i can literally get to understand my digital well-being using this should i call it a widget using this um float panel so if i swipe again you can see that i can use this to take screenshot crop and also ocrs on my screen so we go back to the app shortcuts that it also gives all right it also gives you um favorite contact that should be here and the next is if i set a goal to always drink water on daily basis so over here i can customize the amount of water i want to be drinking on daily basis so the more i'm drinking water it's going to be filling up this way by the time you start using this application you're going to love how it will look the, by uh, when you start drinking water and it starts filling up so the next thing is the countdown all right that's the stopwatch the next thing is compass all right so when you're using your google map it also provides you with a compass to know if you're going left sorry if you're going southeast or southwest or north or the, or wherever right so this application is really awesome and it's one of the apps that i would say you should jump right on my description and download it
The next application is quite awesome and is an application that you can use to mirror your smartphone screen to your laptop, right? And then from your laptop, you can even project to a projector and that is how you successfully cast your smartphone to a projector. I already did a video on this, so don't get confused. You can check the video up here or somewhere. Oh, I, I think it's up here. All right. So, but this A Power Miro is a really powerful screen sharing or screen mirroring application. So, this is how to use right. it. On connecting um, your phone to the A Power Miro um, software on your computer, um, you're first off going to download the application from Play Store. All right. So once you've done that, you're going to go to your computer and then you're going to go to this website. I'm going to leave this website on the description down below. All right. So here we are. So you can see download now. All right. So once you install the software or the application to your PC, um, next thing is to come over here. Of course, you would need to register, right? So you can see the application right over here. So I am going to open up. Okay. And I'm also going to open the application on my phone. So I'm just going to switch over to... A power mirror all right so this is the application on my phone so you, so you can see it written a power soft so once i tap on this local cast it's going to ask me to find the platform or the accompanying pc to um cast to but the first thing i'm supposed to do before i move further is to open it on my pc all right so it's open right now okay i hope um, this is quite visible enough so it's open right now all right so the next thing i'm going to tap is wireless connection so of course you need to ensure that um you are connected you can see that i've hotspotted my phone all right so that's the next thing you're supposed to do so now you can see this barcode over here so i'm going to come to my phone and then i'm going to tap on qr code all right so i'm going to scan the qr code right here okay now it says that um start now so i'm going to tap start now all right so you can see yep so you can see my phone right over at my screen so i can swipe to anywhere i actually found it very smooth right casted my phone screen to um using a power mirror to my laptop pc okay i found it so smooth all right all right the last tool here or the last application here which is not the least important but also important is the application that you can use for measurements right but you can also use your smartphone as a ruler using this application called prime ruler right it takes advantage of augmented reality to you know be able to use um, your camera to take measurement of planes maybe around your house or wherever okay so you can also simply use this as a ruler in terms of this okay so you can see from 0 to 13 so i can simply if i want to maybe take a measurement of probably from this point to this point it does for me to mark it out right and <laughs> and i can successfully use my smartphone as a ruler but that's not all it does like if i use this over here plan you can be able to use your ar it's going to use your camera detect the plane and then you can carry out a successful measurement using your smartphone i'm sorry i wasn't able to show you how this works but i know you can be able to figure that out when you download this application that i'm going to leave the link down on the description was this all helpful i know you're going to be jumping right now on my description to download all of this application because trust me all of them are very very important if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and also turn on notification so you don't miss my next video with this thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one was that video helpful you might want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one i released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you always be the first to know when i release a fresh video that is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to <laughs> my name is frederick thank you for watching and see you on the next one